25. We've just landed on Elf 3 and uh and we're trying to go to the research facility to help the scientists with the research and to evacuate them immediately. We are uh, a couple of our uh, Starship members have fallen ill, so we, we've taken them back to the, st uh, the Starship to heal. Um, hopefully they'll be okay. Right now we're trying to regroup and complete the mission with a little uh, difficulty and so we can evacuate the facility. All right, well, we are on the landing party, all right? So we have our Cations and our Andorian and our Human, all right? And I think there's strike quarters, okay? I have a communicator. Communicators. Phaser type what? Phasers, communicators. Okay. I only have one, I'll put it in the middle. <laughs> well, you know, Andorians have been known to lose an antenna or two. <laughs> but then go them back? All right, we're on our way to the station. You all are now connected. Oh, yeah, get your, get your folders. Oh, okay, good. And we have our artist here who made some excellent Renditions of our last adventure. Uh, our our uh, Miss Andas. Yes. Could I please draw today? You got a sketchbook over there? Okay. No problem. Um, we're on the path. We left off with you. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go to this crew. Now, all three of you are together now. All your other crewmates are very ill and they're unable to travel. Yeah, my idea. Yeah. And we put them in yeah. that star, star ship. Yeah. Now, all right, Captain, now not everything's your idea. Someone please. You're playing the Captain now. So, keep your... Remember, you're not with them and they're not with you yet. All right, so, you're walking up the path what are you all gonna do? Are you all gonna wait for the captain? No, me and Sermon are already climbing up the. Okay, you still want to do that? Yeah. I'm going to fall behind. You're going to. Fall but you all landed, and your shuttlecraft landed where? Oh yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, so your two shuttlecrafts are together at the landing spot. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So now you're going up the path towards. Great. Didn't one of them the go bridge. for the landing area at the uh, base? Yes, and that's where you're walking towards. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Mm. You're going up, so you'll be there if you keep going. But maybe not. What are you doing? Are you guys doing anything What are you, while you're walking? Um, I want to look. Um, I want to, like, see what's around me or, like, or see if there's any, like, human like let like something dangerous around me like look around and okay so if you want to know if something dangerous you're talking about something dangerous as in what like creatures like the wildlife yeah. Um, yeah, something like that. Or, or like, okay well if you want to do that that's 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 running your tricorder I'm, okay I'm so is that what you want to do so you should open it all right and you've got your tricorder scanning help her out Amelia. Thank you. Okay, I need you to roll uh, add up small equipment system operation and computer Computers. operation. Add those two. Computer system operation. Yep, and small equipment system operation. Small equipment. Um. Uh, wait. Seventeen. No way. You're a science officer. What's your Com computer operation? Oh, sixty-nine. Okay, sixty-nine is your total. No, and then a small equipment system operation is fourteen. Okay, so add the two. And then eight. Uh, wait, eighty-three. All right. Roll. And then you have a modifier on your tricorder. 
Minus 10 from your roll. 36. Okay, you got it. All right. I already did that. Okay, you are picking up uh, small life forms up ahead in the path. These are uh, crustaceans with some type of crustacean, some type of like creature with an exoskeleton. Um, you're getting, you're picking up uh, <coughs> three of them. Do you see? Do I see them? No. Okay. I mean, it's not unusual. It's you know, it's a life form. It is a living planet. But I'm gonna pull up my face. But you're ready. Look around. Okay, so you you, how about you advise your teammates about what you're picking up? Uh, um, I I found out that there's these three um, what they're called? You say life forms. Life forms that are like that are around us. I found out on a tricorder. How many? Three. All right, so you said you you got your phaser ready. And I'm going to look around for a different type of danger. Okay, so you're you're looking out for what she said and for more. You're being aware. That's what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. right? I want to be aware, too. You're being aware, too. Excellent. Okay, well, you all spot, uh, as you keep walking, you see these balls that look like hair on top of them. And as you get closer... The hair turns Dodge. into oh. needles, and Dodge. it just stands out like that. Oh. Oh, is it like so you're you're ready to get out of the way, but it doesn't do anything. It's just I'm sitting gonna there. I'm going to jump over. Um, Could you please scan? I'm going to scan to see like what they are. Like on. it's confirmed. This is what you scan. Oh. This is some type of creature with an exoskeleton. Oh. So it it looks like it was fur, but it was actually hard part of its skeleton standing out. And Maybe it's an illusion it. that we see. Like we see the soft stuff. Well, she confirmed that it's it's real. Yeah. No, but I'm saying with like soft stuff, it actually when we get closer, it's actually hard. What well, a tricorder shows that it is it's an exoskeleton, so it comes up like that. Oh. It looks soft, but it's not. I think there might be little holes in it, and that's where the exoskeleton. Well, whatever. So, so do you want to like try to go like past it and see if it like, gets angry, and then we'll like we'll like shoot it with a phaser if it's like attacks okay. us. Set your phasers for heavy stun. Okay, as you walk, nothing happens except it just stays like this. I'm gonna go around it. Y'all wanna walk around it? Yeah. Very good, you walk around it. I'm gonna pull it. away my phaser. Alright, All right. No. safe. Yes? Yeah, if you shoot a phaser up in the sky, is it visible, the beam? Uh, it, it could be. Depends who's up there. <laughs> <laughs> But the range on a phaser is limited now. Okay, so but can it be seen from a distance? Well, it depends. It depends if you're high up in the air or you're. Depends. What are you trying to accomplish? Try to shoot it uh, up in the sky. Maybe uh, they could. Uh, somebody could recognize it as phaser fire, and come to my position. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're talking extreme range. Um, and it's just a general blast up uh, with a phaser two. I'll let you do it, but to get extreme range with that phaser, it's going to drain your phaser four power points. Okay. Well, I'll need power points. Those are phaser two. Phaser two's got 35. Okay. I want y'all keeping track when you so fire your phasers, wait, okay? Wait, you said that last time you said that I wrote down... Yeah, you said uh, Sorry, 40. I'm looking at Mark 1. You're right. 40? <laughs> sorry. Thank you. You get 40 points of power in your phaser. Oh, so, so, so if you shoot that at extreme range, that's what you're going to try to do. You're going to make somewhat like a beacon, uh, a beam, right? Like a yeah. uh, an alert beam. Okay? Yeah. Try it. Go for it. Yeah. Um, fire. You get a chocolate okay. Chocolate. All right, now. Put it down. I want each of you to roll against your intelligence. Sir? Each three, each one of you three. Okay. And if you get under your number for intelligence, let me know. Twenty-nine. I got 
under. Over. Where's I got under. All right, you two, under. you two look out of your periphery vision and you see a beam just show up in the sky. Can I find out where it is? And look around and see where but it's coming from? I think like, from? if we just look there, we'll see where it is because like, we'll know like where the beam is. Like, is it far away from where we are? Does anyone here have any planetary survival? Where is that put? It's I got a skill. Three. I got Under three. P. Oh, me? Yeah. No. Not you. I got three. Okay, roll. One die. Oh, okay. That's hers. Um, yeah. <laughs> which one? Just one. Anyone. <laughs> roll under three. A oh, nine. You're not sure of the direction, but you saw it. Going up, right? Yeah. So you all know that that could be your captain. So it's up to you. You can either wait where you are, return a beam, or keep going. But I didn't return see it. Return a beam. You didn't see yeah, it, but they so. did. Return a beam, because then he'll know, like, maybe we, like, we know it's him. So you have a face or so, if you want okay. to do it. Okay, security, are you listening to your yes. science though? Mm -hmm. So you're going to do what she asked? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what was that? <laughs> We're not listening. <laughs> okay, you need to listen to your teammates. So, cause maybe if he, it, like, he wants to know, like, if we're like there, so let's like beam back so he'll know, like, we saw what, like, his beam. Okay. Go for it. Which one? Oh, he's. <laughs> Ask her, not me. Okay. Okay. So take. Four points. You have 40 points of power in that phaser on your notes. Mm -hmm. Put phaser power. You have 46 points. No. Yeah. It's 40 minus oh, four. Oh, 36. All right. Hey. Okay. Roll against your intelligence. Um, I'm on the tip though. Okay, my intelligence. INT. It's at I the top. 60. You see it. You know exactly where to go. Can I go there? You're there. All right. So about 10 minutes later, you see this little figure coming up over the hill. Yellow figure. Because I'm wearing my poncho. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and and by the way, by the way, the sun is out now. Yeah. And you hear birds, or what sounds like birds. <laughs> yep. And uh, clouds are really clearing. You even see some blue sky and some shadows. Okay. Oh, shadows as in you mean tree shadows or like something's shadows? Yeah, yeah, Hello, because the beings. sun is out. Okay. It's no longer gray and gloomy. gloomy. Okay. All right, so your captain's coming up. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Okay. Where were you? Why don't you come to me? <laughs> I didn't know where you're being to. <laughs> well, how, that's such just, a weird way oh. to start a conversation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Talk right, to him, so not to me. The important thing is we're all together now, so let's go to our target. Yeah. Okay. So walking up the back. All right. So. All right, good. All right. I feel such a cool captain right now. All right, so as you uh, make your way, as you're walking up this path, it's got a big cut in the middle of it where water flooded down um, during that big rain. So you're walking actually on the sides of the path. I mean, is it deep cut? Like? Yeah, it's kind of deep. It's it's almost a foot. It was a lot of rain. Yeah. So people be careful. You might touch your ankle if you fall in there. Well, you have to walk in the grass a little bit. All right. Very tall grass. And um, watch out. Okay, so as you're walking in the, the, Isn't, the aren't grass... Aren't they aware? Aren't they aware? Yeah, it's tall grass, you guys. They're all aware. Oh, okay. I mean, like... As you're walking through, uh, on Das, uh, you feel the grass around your ankles um, is very thick. And it gets thicker and thicker. Should and you I? notice they're moving ahead of you, and you're not moving with them. And all of a sudden, you cannot uh, move. And you look down, and the grass 
is wrapped around your ankles. Do we have scissors? Um, uh, I could like uh, shoot uh, fire. Call for help. Help. Okay, can I uh, set my okay. phaser? First of all, roll against your strength. Um, where's my strength? Uh, where's my strength? That's um, self-destruct. Where's strength? STR at the top, next to intelligence oh, okay. or That's endurance. Eighties. And what is your strength? Um, sixty-nine. All right. Um, you are unable to get out of this. Okay. All right, Captain. Yeah. Okay. So you said you're gonna you're gonna fire on the grass. Yeah, with heat. Really? Okay. All right. I'm going to let you get away with this without rolling because you're going to do it from a distance or close? Oh, point blank? Okay, you don't have to roll for that. But shoot. Okay. It releases your legs. But can you not walk in the grass? Mm. Sure. All right. So how, you're going to take the muddy. How, how wide is the cup? It's, it's like this wide. It's kind of just... You're going to have to go in single file. Right. Before you were walking down the trail together. Okay? Yes. I'm going to cut the grass with my phaser. You're just no, going to no, start no, burning no. up grass? No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. That's harming wildlife. Very good, Captain. Very good. You're out here to seek out new life and new civilizations, not to destroy it. Excellent. Okay. So, but that was good thinking as a security officer. So. Too. All right, this will be the day of pennies, guys. We'll make the people who didn't show up wish they came <laughs> to our rule thinking club. Okay. You have to be a pooper at the end. Yeah, the oops. But it doesn't have my face on there, though. All right. So anyways, you're walking. This is turn number two. You start seeing a dome up on the hill. And you see what looks like a Federation flag waving in the air. But still quite a ways away, all right? Now, as you're walking, tricorder roll. Uh, you're running your tricorder, okay? Could you roll, please? 60. So what was that total roll? It was like 69, right? What did we say? Um, it was 83. 83 minus 10 from your roll because you modified it. Okay? 50. Good. I'll tell you what you're picking up. Mm. You are picking up a ground bird. This is a, diff a new species. Harmful. It's hard to tell. You're a little too far away. Oh. You don't know. Do you want to be prepared for anything? Yes. yes. Prepared, so you're, oh. um, phasers. Uh, okay. Captain. So y'all got your phasers out. Captain. Yes. I would suggest that um, we set our phasers on stun or heavy stun. Well, that's Starfleet regulation. Or heavy stun. Well, that's Starfleet regulation, so it's already on. Great. Great. Very good. See? Well, she's, she's just doing her job. So as you're playing with your phaser while you're walking, mm -hmm. it fires. No, I, I just put it back in. Oh, you did? Phaser one. Oh, okay. So you need to leave it like that. I know, because I accidentally clicked it. Okay, because I'm about to say you just shot. Anira, uh. while you were playing with the phaser. So, okay, so I'll take your word for it that you were actually s trying to fix it and set it. Okay, very good. All right. Thank God. I want to show my communications. My All right, so as you get closer, you see these little heads. <laughs> Hopefully, I have a picture for you. And I'll pass this around. <laughs> you see a, a pack of. Are you an artist? I, I don't know. Jeez. Try to be. I didn't really draw these, though, if you're asking me. Take a look and pass it down. 
You see a flock of those hopping around ahead of you. Just are they, uh, pass it, pass it. Are they um, dangerous species? I don't know. Check I did, check. I did. Tell your science officer. Science, science officer, could you check uh, if these are like uh, a harmful species? And can I put my puffy on my, on my uh, thing in my pocket now? Like close to me, so they don't eat it. Okay. I'll scan to see. What, what, what's this called? The thing that my Tribble? Tribble. You gonna no? put the tribble in your pocket? Clo like close to me, like. Okay, so it doesn't get hurt. It. <laughs> Being sensitive to his tribble. <laughs> don't talk about my tribble. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. So okay. you do a more detailed scan, right? All right, so your scan reveals unique vibratory organs. If you can imagine vocal cords, mm -hmm. uh, oh. they are the, almost the size of the entire animal. And in fact, as you continue walking, they notice you. Are they loud? Phasers. And they suddenly start making noises. Can we? And they make, hold on. The noises, the noises are so loud and so torturous to your ears, especially you. Did you ever, I hate mm -hmm. to say this because even thinking about it just makes me cringe. Oh, me too. Someone taking fingernails and going down a chalkboard. Oh, oh. That doesn't affect me. Well, you will see about that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I can't imagine. <laughs> Hold on to my antennas. <laughs> like the antennas. Hold on to the antennas. It's easier for you because I have okay. to be like. <laughs> I'm gonna close my ears. Okay. Now. I'm gonna flatten my what ears. What were you gonna say? You were gonna say, can I? Uh, I was asking if like my translator can translate like maybe because the their noise is like it's their language maybe so like what they're saying. Oh, uh, you yeah. you talking about a universal translator? Uh, yeah. Uh, you didn't bring one. You have to tell me you're gonna bring a universal translator. Let's go to beat me up. <laughs> but these are t bird noises, you know. So they're are they, not no, intelligent species. Are they a harmful species? species? I'm just so okay. <laughs> Every single time you are they something harmful species? Species? <laughs> like the like. But what do you, I don't know. Their we'll, beaks look dangerous. They're like just dangerous. scared to death of okay. you. All right. So now this is what you got to do. Did anyone have any questions, or they wanted to oh, do something? Yeah. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Can I ask a computer on the trico on the trico? You gotta ask the science officer if you want to talk to the computer, I and she might be able to figure it out. Cause you don't have a computer with you. I know. You have just the trico. Okay. Talk to the science officer. So, can you can you scan to see if there are any other other things related to? these species? Yeah. Mm. Your tricorder did, did come up that they are they're they're like a cross between birds and bullfrogs. Mm. Bullfrogs? Uh, yeah. Are they bull, are bullfrogs? Big and loud. Captain. Bullfrogs are loud yeah. when they croak, but it's not annoying. It's just, it's a real low sound. Captain. But if you put the two together, that's what it's like. I have to now make you all do a roll against your intelligence. If you can handle the screeching sound of these birds. Yes! Yes, I got two! Yes, I got 50! I got two! I got 50, I got, I got 91. Okay, I got you are on the ground like this. You can't handle it. The rest of you are like, Captain, you know, you're okay. You, you, you can... You can get past them. Flattening my ears, my natural ears. Well, you guys are okay. You passed. You're lucky. You rolled really good. So, so what y'all gonna do? Your captain is now on the ground, I, let's, covering his ears, rolling around. Let's probably lift him up and, or, or like roll him away since he's rolling. Let's like, roll him away. <laughs> if you roll him, he's gonna roll down the hill. <laughs> oh, well, gonna go back where he's We back. should, we should look what's down. What? Can I, could I please look like what's at the bottom of the hill? Can you just pick me up? <laughs> okay. I'm like, we'll do that. All right, so so while he's done, just pick me up, just get me out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you all now what I want to do? You all are pretty strong. 
so I'm not gonna have to. Security. Sixty-two. Yeah. Y'all are pretty strong. Fifty-seven. So you carry the captain past the flock, and they're just screaming and screaming and screaming, and you guys are like, Ugh. and he's sitting, ah, and you pass that. Good. All right. Now you are happen to be at an area where remember the the administrator's space state uh, the research station mm -hmm. said if the path is washed out use the footbridge well you're at a part of the path that's washed out there's a big new stream cutting right in the middle of the path yet there's a footbridge okay now this footbridge is very unique it has two big logs stuck into the ground with ropes so it's got three ropes Two logs come here. One log comes out the middle. Then there's one rope at the, imagine a V. So there's a V mm -hmm. at one bank mm -hmm. and a V at the other bank. You know where it's washed oh. out again. So the V. There's a pole here and there's a rope here. And then there's two ropes going from the tops of the V to the other tops of the V. So, so it basically looks like one big rope with two handlebars. But if you duplicate so that, except put on the other, it'll be a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Captain. <laughs> Captain. But it's not like that, though. I just want... I do you all understand? Yes. So, we yes, have to say planet going... <laughs> Actually, it would be this. Captain, you would be so standing on the So, let me car. show you. So, here's, here's one log. Here's the other log. Here's another log. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a rope tied here, and a rope tied here, and a rope tied here. So what is the stream? And let me show you. Okay, hold on. Here's the other log on the other side. And then the stream. Oh, I see. So the water's here, washed out here. I see. Do you understand? I see. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's. Yes, sir. It's difficult. This is looking at it straight ahead as if you just came up to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is where you would walk. You would walk on this thing and you would hold on to these things. Oh, okay. That, I, okay? I think you should use dexterity on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. No, you should not. <laughs> you should not do anything. You should be lazy and walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Captain. now. Good thinking, though. That's, the, that's what... If you were a game master, you would know that's what that would be. It would be dexterity. So y'all want to cross? Yes. yes. Captain. Okay, you're going to go. Captain. Yes. Um, at my home, uh, um, what, when, before, uh, I came to the star, to the fet, um, to the star fleet, well, when I, vi I visited my home planet, and I actually saw a, a kind of bridge like this. And what we would do, that it would help at school for the the Cajun children. This is a, for a school grade for balance. So, um, I, I, what I would suggest is that you hold on to the handlebars, but um, you want to be careful about like holding on to them too tight because if you did that, it, a, a home planet, it would actually start to collapse a little bit, like get weaker if you held on too tight. So you just have to stay, you just have to stay relaxed. Yeah. All right, Cation balancing tips. So okay. because of that, you all get to subtract ten from your rolls. And also, Captain. Okay. When so I went you, to this Cajun for, for, body for part, adding, for doing such great ad libbing like and mm -hmm. and creativity for with your character and, and some water. history that we didn't know about you, you get a penny. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I told you. I will reward you all for coming and <laughs> s sticking with us in the club. All right. So, um, who's gonna go first? Me. Uh, I'll go last. I'll go last. I, I'll, actually, I'll go last since I have the like bursting ear jumps right now. Did I like? Am I okay? No. You're you're recovered. Yeah, you're fine. I'll go in the okay, back I'll go too. You're fine. Just in case. It was just. It didn't physically hurt you. It was just hard for you to take. Mentally. Yeah. 
right, I'll go. You're gonna go first? Yeah. I'll go okay. last. I, you're gonna have to do two rolls, mm -hmm. okay, to get across. Um, no, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to do three rolls. Two of them have to be successful. Uh, dexterity? Yes, subtract okay. 10 from your roll. So, okay. 26 minus 10 62. equals So that means you rolled a 52. I have six. No, 16. Did you make I have 16. it? Yeah, I, have I made okay. it. I made it one more. 50. So you like guys, did, no, please don't roll. Yeah, I got 59. There's only one person can cross at a time. I got it. No, it doesn't 59. count. Okay, Captain, you get across. You rolled Good three job. times, sir. You, you rolled three times. Two times. You rolled two times and made it, okay? But I give you three chances, okay? But I want you to roll three times. So you gotta roll, who's next? Who's next, Cap Captain? You say oh, who's next, okay. you decide. Security. Mm -hmm. So all um, 57, I got under. Okay, you subtract 10 from your roll. <laughs> 87, what are we rolling um, minus 10 equals 78. Yeah, 78. 87 minus 10? No, sorry. No, 70. No, wait. 77. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Yes. All right, 77. Did you make it? Yep. Okay, roll again. Number what three. Rolling by? Dexterity. Oh, dexterity. Eight! Eight! Okay, yes. you made it across. Okay, who's next? Nira. Okay. All right. 70, 76, 76 minus 10. I'm successful. Okay, two more rolls. 66 and successful. Okay, and one more. Successful. You made it. <laughs> All right, science officer next. Okay, three Hold people on made it. Loosely. Hold on loosely. Hold on loosely. Oh, well, uh, roll. Okay, Lucy. You can do it. What is my little ship? L. I, I always lose. L. Alphabetical L. Uh, 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 ha! Five. Not quite. Not quite. Fifty. <laughs> you still get to subtract ten from your roll. Go ahead. Uh, I did Seventy-two. Get it. Okay. Fail on one roll. You got two more. Okay. okay made it. Okay. Wait. I'll let him do one more. Not quite. <laughs> he tried to encourage you, but you got really annoyed. Uh. I got it. Okay. All right. Very good. Phew. Phew. You guys made it across. That's a close call. Roll with your tricorder. Okay. 34. Cool out. Cool out. Oh. That's so casual. It's like not even something yeah. to Okay. You recognize. The red dervishes, the red spinners. You recognize three of them up in front of the path. Remember the red spinner? Remember last? Remember the red spinner? It came and it, made, it sounded like a swarm of bees and it was coming towards you. Remember? In fact, let's pass this around because everyone can see it. Those little monkeys. Right, right here. Oh my! Turn it. No, no, it's upside down. That's how he goes. <laughs> Pass it down. Let everyone see it. It goes like this? Yep. <laughs> and he's exactly. spinning. Those things at the top, those mouths, they're spinning around. And he's spinning Ooh. in the air. This is the best way to do it. You're like, coming, guys. New life and new civilization. You're the captain. you got to set no, a good... it goes that way. See, it's spinning like that. It's very interesting. But it looks normal this way. No. It's the other way. It's spinning. And it's spinning. But, but it looks like its eyes are backwards. All right, he's coming towards you guys. I'm shoot it. Stun him. Stun. Stun. All right, stun. so we have wide three. Stun. Just like stun. A wide stun. stun, all three of you. No, 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 no all four. One. And then, oh. All four of you are yeah, going to do wide stun. Going. One wide stun. All right, so who, who's got best to hit modern? Who's got the best? My to hit modern is 65. 48. Where's that? It's right under... And dirt. 38. Uh, Luck. It's right under charisma. Modern? It's right 59. under. 59. Who's got the highest? 65. All right, let the, let the captain shoot. Um. Shoot. Give hold on, hold on. You're like, I can't wait. <laughs> I have to shoot now. 
<laughs> okay, minus fifth, add fifteen to your roll. Wow. Oh, sorry, sorry. That was forty nine, so add fifteen to your roll. Add fifteen. Mm -hmm. So uh the um, uh, sixty Sixty-six. Okay, what's your tip, Modern? Sixty-five. All right. Oh my Let's god. All right. All right. Uh. Oh my god, I'm one. That's weird. You guys are behind me. Sorry. You know, I should have told you, you're a little too far for why it's done. Wait until they get closer to you. Which, in fact, is going to happen if they don't shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. Okay, roll. <laughs> Add 15 to your roll. Sir? Uh, you didn't fire your phaser. I'm fire it. To? Yeah, there. All right. 34. Okay, roll. Add 15. Yep. Uh -huh. Come on. Use your pen, pen and paper. Don't anyone tell him. Oh. He's got to know. That's <laughs> about our club is you got to do your math, your basic math. Ooh, okay. okay. 34. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Plus fifteen. <laughs> I never liked math. Math is never not my favorite subject. I like the science. I got a hundred. Science is my favorite, favorite subject. Excellent. Math is my favorite. Forty plus five. And then the math. That's why I picked science in the beginning of the year. Forty nine. I got under. No, you got fifteen. <laughs> no, no. No, yeah, you got fifteen. No, forty nine. Oh, okay, you rolled thirty floor plus fifteen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm like thanks. Sorry. <laughs> 49. I got okay. It. Hit. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Let's see Good if it job. does anything to him. Yay. Hug. Hug. <laughs> so cute. All three of them fall to the ground. Yay. Good hit. All three of them? Good hit. I think you I were did lucky because they were kind of far away, but they're closer. All right, the path is clear. You guys walk by them. Okay. Keep, I'm gonna keep and they're like twitching on the ground. Yeah. Does that mean that... Eye, eyes closed. Does that mean that they're like waking up? Right, I don't know. Going. Okay, you walk right on. by them on your way up to the station. So you get up to the station. You are... Okay, you are coming up the east side of the station. East. You see a vehicle hangar, an area where vehicles for the station are kept, kind of like a glorified garage. <laughs> glorified garage. <laughs> Big metal dome with metal walls. Ooh. Is that a station nearby? That is the station. Yeah. Oh. And it looks like no here. entrance at this side of the building. Let's, walk around. Let's go around. Okay. Do you think so, Captain? Yeah. So you have uh, gotten to the gotten to the uh, okay. the west side. There's a big door. Looks like an airlock type door with a buzzer. Buzzer? Oh, I'm gonna the press buzzer. the buzzer. Yeah, like an intercom? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay so. This so is the yeah. Which one is gonna do? Uh, you. I'll just buzz it since I'm captain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Genetic Research Station 17. Um, you have Hashimi from USS Cario, uh, Starfleet Command. Cairo. 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 Cairo, Egypt. Cairo. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, do you have everyone with you? Yes. We'll be opening the airlock in five seconds. When the airlock door opens, step in. Make sure nothing follows you in. Have you, uh, have you picked up any uh, of the native species or animals? I've, I've picked up a triple. A tribble. 
Oh boy. Would you mind leaving the triple outside of the airlock, please? Yes, sir. No, I'm not Alright, so you take your triple off. And where do you put the triple? In the grass. Tom. Okay. Um, a lot of the grass around the station is cut really low. Put it on the bush, on the tree. Alright, so no, you no, throw no, no, in the no, triple. No, 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 I do not. I do not. Well, then don't say that. Okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, so are you going to ask me what do I see around me? <laughs> okay. I see a cut down tree. Actually, you see some bushes. Put it on a bush and tell him not to go anywhere. Put him in the bushes. Okay, so you take your triple, he's purring, and all of a sudden the purring stops as you put him down. All right? Okay, you guys go in the airlock. That's very obedient of you to follow I'm, station policies. I'm going to look around and see if the triple isn't in the airlock. Okay. Let's go. There's nothing in the airlock. Except us. You have some burnt uh, hugger grass still attached to part of your boot, but it falls off. What was that? The grass, the hugger grass. We'll call it hugger. Remember it grabbed her? Hugger. Yeah. And, and it hugs her. Yeah. Does it, it loves me. It yeah. it love what does it look like? I don't know. You should scan it, but it's dead now. So maybe you can go back out there and scan it or ask the people in the station. Mm. All right, so you're buzzed in. You get in the airlock yeah. here. Buzz. And, uh... Go and sing a fire. There's a big compression tank inside the room and you hear a robotic voices welcome to Federation Genetic Research Station 17 Hi. <laughs> and then you hear uh, a beeping another beeping it says decontamination in process stand by close my eyes all right so you close your eyes and your crew's looking at you like what's wrong with you <laughs> Oh, I don't want any of that decompression stuff going in my eyes. <laughs> After a couple minutes, door That's... pressure changes. You feel cool air coming. Yummy. And it kind of smells a little bit like... Uh, toast. <laughs> they toast they just had breakfast. Bread toast or as in yeah. like somebody's boring, burning toast. <laughs> Toast, like bread that's sliced and heated. Yeah. I eat that sometimes. And you realize it reminds you of training that you've had where you do visit stations and whenever you come through the airlock decontamination, you can always smell what the people in the crew were cooking a couple hours before. Oh, what's... Because the air in the airlock is so dead and stale. Oh. It, then you can smell anything that's usually in the station after it, the pressure okay. changes. Yeah. What does decontamination mean? Well, to get rid of any microbes, pathogens oh, oh. that you might have brought in from outside. See, this is a genetic research station. Genetic. So they, they got to keep it very sterile. Yeah. Because it's genetic. They work on the DNA of all the life forms on the planet, uh -huh. study it, okay? Genetic, real serious stuff. Navigator. All those creatures. So now you're in, and you meet one of your first people. And it's security officer, Navarti. What race is he? Navarti is a human female. She, she wears the rank of ensign. She greets you. Welcome to Genetic Research Station. I'm Ensign Navari. I am security officer on the station. The same name as Ensign Gomez. Uh, no, and Ensign Gomez is with you. Oh, I have yeah. oh. Ensign. <laughs> yeah, you said Ensign something. You know what though? Ensign is a rank. Oh, Excuse Ensign. Me. Actually, oh. Ensign Gomez had to stay with the sick people. Oh, yeah. You needed oh, someone yeah. to take care of them. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, Ensign is just a rank. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a well, name. I thought, I thought it was a name. No, yeah. Ensign is a rank. Yeah, that's what I thought when I started watching Star Trek. It was Ensign Chekhov, so I thought Ensign was his first name. Chekhov was his last name. No, but it's a rank. But there's lots of Ensigns. Ensign is the rank underneath Lieutenant. Oh, so they're underneath my rank. Well, she is. Yeah, Not she's they, but yeah, she is. She. All right. 
If you uh, follow me, I will introduce you to our station administrator, Robert Kelly. Have you ever been to a genetic research station before? Uh, yeah. Me? No. Oh, like in real life. Uh, yes, Captain? Uh, no. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, uh, our facility is state of the art, uh, Federation design. And uh, we keep, as you can tell, a sterile environment. Very nice. And we examine all of the uh, native species of the planet. And uh, here is. Stand by, and she goes around the corner and says, "Oh, come, come around here." Right. And it's a reception area with a big table and chairs. Please take a seat. Right. Would you all like anything to drink? Any anything to eat? Do you have Do you have um the Cation the Cation juice? Do you have Sure. Our replicators produce anything for the Federation okay. yes, uh, species. Please. You want Cation juice? Yes, please. And Nothing. and Dorian ale. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's uh, Andorian mm -hmm. ale would be like ginger ale. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but for Andorians, it's very. Oh, it's not vacation juice too. Very flat tasting, and humans don't like it. Andorians love it. <laughs> All of vacation juice. Okay, vacation juice, juice, juice for you, is Captain. To to people, ginger ale for the captain. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in comes, in comes uh, Administrator Kelly. And with him, an Andorian uh, looks in a <laughs> lab <laughs> coat. In a lab coat. Uh, Captain Hashmi. Oh, hi. Pleasure to see you. Uh, uh, after hearing you, and uh, <coughs> uh, finally we get to meet you in person. Uh, I, I presume you've met Ensign Navardi. <coughs> and uh, this is uh, Dr. Loctril. Uh, Loctril is our. Uh, chief researcher here at the station and he's looking looking at you like this this is luck trip i apologize and then he sees you i haven't met you before and your name um and dana <coughs> huh, what part of andoria are you from <laughs> make it up <laughs> say this outside this outside <laughs> <laughs> ah, Southside. I haven't been there. I was never got around there. Dory's a big planet. So I guess you're all here to shut us down. I apologize for that. Listen, uh, you have to pardon Dr. Uh, this is Ke Ke Administrator Kelly talking. You have to pardon uh, Dr. Latrill. He and the team have worked very hard and to get the news about the station being shut down is very disturbing. And upsetting. We'll help you with your research. We're here to move it and complete your experiments before we move it. Huh. That's what they always say. Please, Dr. Latrill. I would like to give you all a tour of our station. Show you what we have. Show you what we're dealing with and what we have to turn out. And Dr. Latrill, uh, would you please uh, uh, accompany us? I'd rather not. I'm very busy. I actually have to finish up these experiments. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Kelly? Uh, Administrator Kelly? Yeah, Administrator Yeah, he's like the boss. Yeah, I just have a question. When sure. We, when we landed here, there was some rumbling noises coming from the ground. Ah! Oh! you talking about the uh, LF3 earthworms. About how big were they? Well, uh, last time we... From what we saw of the earthworm, uh, it seemed to be, what was it, Dr. Latrill? That was about 30 meters in diameter. Yeah, 30 meters in diameter, and we estimate about 200 meters long. Wow. Um, <laughs> they kind of spooked you out, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, with the rainstorms in the spring, oh, because they get flooded, they start coming up to the surface. Did you happen to see any of their eggs? Oh, they're, you can't miss them. They're like these shells that are up oh, above oh, the ground. Yes. I think we saw those. They're like I spiky. think someone like them and saw those. Yeah, did you see them? Were they hollow? hollow. <laughs> yeah, they just had a bunch of babies. Did they have? Did they have 
but because what well, we said they were like furry, but then they turned into spikes. No, that's a. That's oh, you're talking about the false triple. Oh, that's a false triple. Yeah, false triple is completely different species. False well, triples usually don't get any bigger than about this big. But mm -hmm. why? Like, where do they? Where where do they originate? Do they well, actually come from this planet? Actually, or? we believe they are native to LF3. Yeah, hmm. and then all of a sudden you hear a uh, a. A uh, a bell, no, like that. What's that? Oh, someone just came in through the airlock. Oh, hold on, uh, Ensign Navardi. Oh, she's already got it. We'll find out. It's another guest. So, uh, what you're seeing? Yeah, they're very, they're harmless. Uh, at the very most, if you're not lucky, you'll be standing on an area of ground where they start to come up. And they'll knock you off the ground, maybe mm -hmm. into a tree or something. Mm -hmm. You all, that didn't happen to you. No, did it? no, no. Yeah, they're that huge. Won't... They're huge. Mm -hmm. um, but again, they're so massive and so hard to catch. We have not been able to examine one or find one that was dead. And we certainly haven't been able to uh, sedate any of them. We could, uh, um, maybe some of us could, uh, I could look, uh, like me and another one of my crew member could probably help you catch one. It's possible, but we won't have enough time. According to the orders you just gave me, we have to evacuate. We only got another two days. So here's the plan. Uh, after tonight, I'll give you an agenda uh, for tonight and for tomorrow. We've got to get up early, go out and collect some traps. We have quite a few traps with uh, some of our latest technology. Got to bring it in here. That'll help wrap up some of the experiments. And so if you all can help us do that, uh, that would be really good. Yes. Oh, and, and, and and you hear someone laughing. Ho, 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 like a very happy, jolly laugh. Okay, go ahead. Um, but it's like somewhere off in another room. And Mr. As Administrator Kelly? Yes. Um, have you, do you happen to have, um, in your experiments, or have you happened to study, um, uh, the Roberg, that sort of, that's the, that kind of sort of worm from the Cation planet? I'm not familiar with the Roberg worm, um, but it could be related. I'm not sure. Yeah, because there's there because the way you describe the all of, the all of three earthworms. Yeah. They're they're sort of. I think they might maybe they're cousins to them or something. Well, unfortunately, uh, the big bosses are shutting us down, so we're not going to yeah. be able to look into it anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea why they're doing this? It's a threat, like something. A threat? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Did they mention what kind of threat? I'm not sure. Uh, like, mm. there's danger. Yeah, it's for your safety. Yeah, I could imagine. That's the only reason why they would do this. Well, yeah, I wonder it's if for it's safety. the Klingons. Were you ever able um, to... Mama, could you call off the Ensign? Call off Ensign. I don't, like, can, can you check who's at the door lock? I mean, like, is there a camera viewing outside? That's in Navardi. Oh, sorry, we're... Yes, uh, yes, Administrator. Yeah, uh, Mr. Jones is here. Yeah, bring him in. Yeah, you off. see this, this human come in. He's got these big pockets. Oh, and brown hair. Oh, and he's no. very large, man. He says, Cyrano Jones, nice to meet you. Who's the... Who's... I'm the captain. Oh, the US is captain. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I interest you? And and then you see administrator. Please, Mr. Jones. Okay, I do not. No want any selling things. of merchandise in our station. What can we do for you today? Well, I just came by just to check up on things, see if you needed any more supplies. Uh, Cyrano, um, we are actually closing down the station. You're doing what? Are these guys here going to shut you down? Well, they're all part of this. We're on the same team. Yeah, we're they're, they, We've got to shut it, shut the station down. Uh, um, uh, you know, Federation business. Oh, can you tell me a little bit what kind of business? Classified. Exactly. Thank you, Captain Hashmi. It, it is classified, Mr. Jones. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need to know some classified information, uh, that is. Not supposed to be unclassified. I might be able to get it for you at a nice price. No. It's okay. Okay, all right. 
Uh, excuse me, Captain Hatchme uh, and crew, this is Mr. Cyrano Jones. He is a uh, local supply ship who we have contracted with to help us uh, bring supplies. He happened to have been visiting this planet long before us doing trade. Yes, yes, I have. And uh, looks like you have a little triple hair on your shoulder, Captain. Yeah. No, he does. I, but no, it looks like he has some triple hair, like uh, triple shed, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, didn't you come into contact with the USS Enterprise? With the clean Oh, ship? Enterprise! Oh, what's that? Enterprise, I like Enterprise. I love to do business. Enterprise means business. Is that is that what you mean? I'm a businessman. Starship. Oh, Starship. Mm, Starship, Enterprise. Mm-hmm. Nope. What's Starship Enterprise? Captain, Captain, Captain. I, I, don't, I don't know what all the hushing... Sure, well, why don't you share your secret with me, it's, young... It's young, some uh, information he forgot about. Um, it's kind of... This is kind of a little... Better. Well, you know, the bathroom's right around the corner over there, if that's what you needed. <laughs> well, anyways, I think I've outstayed my welcome. I think I'll be on my way. Uh, Administrator Kelly, uh... I'm gonna head back to my shuttle, but first, I was wondering if I could stay the night. Um, sure, certainly, Mr. Jones. Just, uh, uh, just realize that you don't have security clearance for certain areas at the station. Oh, of course, of course. You know, I never take advantage of your kind hospitality. Yeah. I that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I'll see you all later. Maybe at, for dinner tonight. Okay. See you later, Mr. Jones. And then you see Administrator Kelly's there. I don't know why we ever signed a contract with this man. Okay, anyway. I don't think there's going to be much dinner left when he's done. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. We'll try to make sure that Ensign Navardi is around. She's tough. She is a eighth degree black belt in judo. Yeah. No one messes with her. I like that. So, um, let's go on a tour. Let me show you the station, show you what we got to do. Okay. okay. Oh, so, you awesome. go on a walk. A question for you? Yes, yes, go right also, ahead. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Um, have you ever studied these red spinners? They spin the air with arms that have mouths on them and eyes. They spin oh, the air. we call them the red dervish. Mm. They're dangerous? Yes. We have some in our lab. We've been doing research on oh. them. And we found uh, one of the experiments you guys are going to wrap up. You're going to be busy. At our station, I'm telling you, you got a lot. Uh, they have some type of pheromone, some type of Poison. odor, mm. and uh, apparently it turns, uh, it gets rid of pain. Really? Yeah, but we've had done only just done beginning trials, but um, this is our most unique discovery on this planet. Um, I'm wondering if that has a connection. I don't know. Well, anyways, let's go take a look no, no, at we, the... When, when oh. we're coming uh, over here, there was like lots and lots and lots of those. Yeah, this is their planet. It's a native hat. Usually they come around in packs. You didn't, you didn't see any alone, did you? I see. I, we came across one that was alone. Uh, uh, me and... Uh, our ensign, uh, the ensign. Yeah. Ensign I had to stun three of them. Yeah, yeah. Heavy stun or? Mm, wide stun. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky it, it worked because usually you got to hit them twice. Really? Yeah. Mm. Did, did they look completely knocked out or were they moving? They were they're they're twitching. Twitching. Oh, yeah. Whew. They don't forget either. Really? So if they see you again, they'll immediately. They don't it? like humanoids. <laughs> But so yeah. so so they can like the, by the smell of you or by the, even if you I don't know we haven't yet figured out mm. because you know they have these mouths at their heads yeah. and they got one eye we can't find if they have any way to tell smell but they seem to have very good vision and a really voracious appetite and uh, they must have a big brain so let's go on a tour let me show you over here we have uh, are you guys gonna do anatomy of one anatomy of one. We have dissected a few dead ones, but again, the research hasn't been finished. We're, it's all inconclusive. So hopefully your science officer can help us do that. And since 
you're Andorian and he's Andorian, I'm sure it'll it'll help. I think the doctor was flirting with her. It's possible. <laughs> Um, okay, so here I'm gonna take you. So he takes you over to the power plant. All right, shows you the uh, his generator, and they have a. Uh, Is it radioactive? It's a fusion. Yeah, there's some radioactive. It's a fusion okay. uh, generator. Yeah. All right. He shows you the life support system. Mm -hmm. All right, and then he shows you. The labs. Okay. Big area, big corridor. Four different rooms. Got a restructuring lab for genetics. They got lab storage and they have animal pens. The animal pens are all locked and he shows you a master lock that will open all the cages at once <laughs> if you had to. And you can do one at a time. Then he shows you the radiation uh, lab and a big radiation gun that's very powerful and the walls have very thick shielding so if there's any radiation leakage it doesn't get out of the lab Lead can be and things can't get into the lab Lead can phasers can't get into the lab anything um, yes question so the, why why do you, what's the reason for having the radiation gun do you use it at all yes and so what do you use it for well we have to use it to splice uh, DNA oh okay yeah and it's very powerful but it's very finely tuned but it is able to uh, uh, change its range uh, for, for t tissue but we have no need for that mm -hmm. and if we did it it would just melt whatever it hits. So I'm, yeah. I i don't think we really need to use that setting. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there, again, if there are Klingons, you can use it for Klingons, Klingons, what do you mean? You know. I don't think we should experiment on Klingons, Captain yeah. Ashley. I know, I mean. I, like I, I, I guess you don't like Klingons very much. They ch we, uh, we ran an adventure with Doomsday Machine uh, to stop it from Ecter. Romulans. That was Romulans. What? Uh, Game Master 2, that was Romulus. Oh, that was not Romulus. Romulus. Yes. Sorry, Romulus. I don't like Romulus. Yeah, I guess they're all the same to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not exactly to me. No, clean cons, I think. Now, the lab area, right here where the animal pens are, and the restructuring lab, we have um, sedative gas mm -hmm. that can be vented into individual cages or the entire room. And this can come in handy, especially if we do have an escape. From time to time with the red dervishes, we've had that. And once they get a hold to you, they rip you up pretty pretty good. Can, what, what is, what, to the game master, what, what does a sedative mean? A sedative is a, a drug. Oh. A drug to make you sleepy. Okay. To fall asleep. Yep. To make you calm, you know, if you're like, ah, no, ah, and they give you a set, you're like, hey, yeah, all right, <laughs> cool, dude, like that, you know. Does. Yeah, you're easy to get on. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, no relax. problem. I'll do whatever you say. Relax. You know, that's what a sedative will do. <laughs> yeah, real laid back. Yeah. All right, so you guys uh, head over to dinner. Cyrano Jones is at the table, and he's just drinking up a storm. He what likes to drink. Is that drink called? He's drinking uh, synthahol. Uh, it's alcohol, but it's removed. They take the the drug part out of it, so you don't get drunk. So he just keeps drinking it. I think he's trying to get drunk. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably Very is. Very gluttonous. So let's break for prayer. Okay. okay. Let's. Where? <laughs> okay, so dinner. It was just sitting. Is there anything you <laughs> no, want to no, talk no. to Light okay, years with the captain? Light years with the distance. administrator? You're with all the crew now, everyone's there and uh, you know, you could tell you could tell some some of the people are upset with you, you know. They look at you as the bad guys. Anything? Captain, are you okay? You're, you're a little stressed out, aren't you, Captain? I think you're gonna sleep well tonight. Yeah. No, I'm just. Yeah. I, I feel so bad because like ruining their research. Your research. Like they made uh, your research. <laughs> like you guys made a home here. 
Well, coming from a, this is uh, the doctor talking, mm -hmm. the Endorian doctor. You know, I have to say, I was really mad, but since you said that, it kind of made me feel that you actually do care. Sometimes I wonder if the Federation sends you people in there, they don't even care. But all that we give our lives, we give up our families and everything to live at these stations in the middle of the solar system and there's nobody but us and giant worms and red dervishes and hugger grass, false tribbles. Have you met the blue dervishes yet? No, we haven't seen blue are they Are they worse than the red dervishes? Or Tell you what, after dinner, since you all are so nice and your, your science officer has been so sweet to me and helpful, uh, even though I'm three times her age. Um, let me introduce you to some of our creatures. Yay! So he pulls out his uh, data pad and passes around to tell you about each it's one. It's like an iPad. So I, I presume you've met the false Tribble. Yeah. 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 And you've met the Tribbles? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Could you do me a favor and not bring any of those onto your ship? You know, and Cyrano Cyril Jones said, you know, the Tribble really catches a lot of flack that he doesn't deserve. I just wanted to say that. It's a very cute and adorable creature. Yeah, but They it's bring an, happiness and peace. It's an invasive species. But he brings happiness and Every peace. Every time he eats it, he reproduces. Well, maybe there's a way around that. that. You know, I was trying to tell Administrator Kelly maybe he could find a way to make a sterile Tribble. Well, Mr. Kelly, I think you uh, could research the Tribble hair. Well, whatever. Do your own research. Here's here's something called the Hindenburg Roller. Now, if you ever met, did you meet one of these things? No. It's like a small bag that inflates itself with oxygen and hydrogen. Okay. Like that bit. <laughs> it's just like a balloon. It's like a living balloon. It's an amazing creature. Like is it potato? And it, but the only problem is if <laughs> if you poke it. It explodes really? like, into an electrical spark. Yeah. Does it? That it, it dies. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's yeah. sort of so like a bunny. Like, but but the explosion is incredible. You, uh, I mean, you have we have special traps just for these things. Hopefully, we're uh. gonna get them tomorrow. Hey, and then did you meet the the hummers yet? Oh yeah. The screeching things. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you you were incapacitated by yeah. them, huh? Yeah. I tell you, uh, what about you all? You all okay? Yeah, I flattened my ears hard enough. Oh, uh, well, your cations. How about you? I know you, you must have passed out. No, uh, she, no. She's no? okay. Every time they do it, and I'm around them, I pass out. I can't really? handle it. Uh, Are they I like, can you, they, like can you show us? Like it's like a self-defense mechanism. I don't know. It's, can it's you all show us the blue? Oh, I was telling you about the blue dervish. Can you show us what it This is like? interesting. You haven't seen them. They look like the red dervish, but they're very limp, and they look kind of sad. But are they dangerous? Like the well, let me tell you, no, and let me tell you why. Are they like the male, female kind of thing? Nope. This is a genetically re-engineered species that we worked on. Oh. Oh, really? And we, uh, oh, well, you know sad. that that pheromone that they produce, mm -hmm. the uh, red dervishes. Oh. Okay, it's like a heavy stimulant, but the blue dervish actually makes even more of it, but it's less dangerous. Mm. So yeah. it doesn't have a mouth. Just actually help. It does have a mouth, but like it's yeah, not, like, yeah. But, it, but the eat? problem is, it's also afraid of everything, so it runs away from. It won't. It just spins away. It's hard away. to finish. Yeah, it, it's very hard. Mm. So we introduced it on an experimental basis, so there's actually a couple in the wild on this planet right did now. Did you like crossbreed, or did, did you guys try like crossbreeding the blue dervish and the red dervish? No, it wouldn't work, it doesn't work. The red dervishes destroy the blue dervishes. Anytime uh, they get by them, they destroy them. So you mean like inside the pen, yeah. you move the blue dervish toward it? Yeah, Boom. yeah. It spins away. All you get is blue mush. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. Anything else, hugger grass? Oh, you you went to hugger grass. She got yeah. Oh by yeah. Her foot. But oh, you we did. Had to melt it. it. <laughs> Still got your foot, huh? <laughs> but it's burnt. Boy, how'd you get that off? Uh, heat. I used heat. heat. Really? What made you think heat? Because uh, stun wouldn't because it's grass. So. Well. <laughs> I don't know if stun's gonna work, so I guess it's heat. Yeah, yeah. Very scientific of you, Captain. You. 
Is your background in science? I'm an engineer. Yeah, sort of like science. <laughs> I'm impressed. So you saw the hugger grass, yeah. I mean, the hugger grass, this stuff is all over the planet. Anything else? Any other creatures? Yeah, yeah. This stuff is all over the... It, it just, like, loves to hang on to anything with fabric mm. and hair. And it can't get out. Oh. I've found, believe it or not, I once found a red dervish caught by a uh, hugger grass. grass. Yeah. Did the red dervish like rip it up? It or? was dead. It starved. Oh, really? It couldn't move. It, it couldn't get out to get food. Wow. So hugger grass just hugs onto it. So and it we don't really... know what the hugger grass. Hugger grass. Check this out. It's just a plant. So it's not a carnivore. So it doesn't eat you. It just. It must be like how. Um, it's what like I used to be when I was on little. Earth. Um, on Earth, I would because on, they made these special at that time. These special um, for a limited time. These special really fuzzy bl um, like blankets. I think that, yeah. that's what they're called. And Good I would story. love to feel it. The fuzzy blanket. Yeah, I grew yes, up with some of must, those on Andoria. Yeah, it, that must be sort of. Related I had a fuzzy, to but my fuzzy blanket had uh, <laughs> the the Smiths Blitz. Uh, cartoon character. You remember the Smith split? Oh, that was before your time. Anyways, um, mm -hmm. you know, you know, uh, Doctor, you are being very nice. You are sudden. First, you hated these people. Now you like these people. I'm so happy. Hey, well, you know, it helps to have some decent guests once in a while, Administrator. Well, well, I'll tell you this. I think there might be some kind of thing check in the nature of the planet, the ecology, because. Anywhere there's hugger grass, anywhere there's hugger grass, you will find tribbles. But do the hugger grass, it doesn't get the it? The tribbles go into the hugger grass, and of course they never come out. So wait, they get hugged by the hugger Yeah, grass? and they but, starve and they die. Oh, okay. are there any other animals? Yeah, there's right? lots of them, lots of them, but I just got so many great stories. Well, anyways, yeah, we they're gonna, our guests are going to be very tired. They have a very early start. Okay, okay, but just, just, just administrator, just let me get through some of these, okay? Okay, go ahead. All right, here is something that you look. We might find them all. It's called the pop lizard. Pop lizard. Take a look. This is a carnivore reptile. It's very small. You know, it looks like a starfish from Earth. And when it feels, it, what it does is it buries itself right under the surface of the soil. Like you'll have like a millimeter or two of soil right underneath it. And as soon as it feels something step on it, Vibration. it reaches up and grabs whatever it has. Oh, like a Venus oh. light trap. And there's teeth on its arms. Really? Yep. Ooh, it's and then it so chews in the middle. And I tell you, even if you have steel boots with magnetic boots with armor on them, uh -huh. I tell you in about 10 minutes, if you don't stun that thing, it's going to chew through it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've never well, seen that an What's that? Uh, the the neutronium. Invincible man. Uh, uh, Jones, can you like close your ears? Real oh, neutronium. You mean neutronium. what they they they? they uh, made the it's a theoretical. Out of it. Oh, the doomsday machine. Uh, we were. Uh, See now, you know where we don't get any news out here. Yeah, could I? Let me tell you the story. Like uh, Ecter. Uh, okay. How about this? How about you just say I tell him the story? Because I, I wanna. Yeah, you tell. Him. Yeah. But you tell him the story, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry to do that too. You're doing really good. So. Yeah. But I want to say, I do want to get us moving on. I, I want to get through this. So you tell him. He said, wow, that's an interesting story. So neutronium is real. Yeah, it is real. <laughs> I always thought it was just theory. Maybe. We had like 11 ships shooting at it at all times and nothing happened. <laughs> Amazing. Now, let me show you this. It's a blade barnacle. Look out for them too. We're going to pick up some of those. It looks like a rock, right? Mm -hmm. But it actually has 20 legs under it. So, like, tricks you kind of? Well, it's a moving rock. Oh. I don't know if it's oh, tricks. It's cool. just things on this planet are so unique. Looks like fun guy. Okay. Oh, it must be like... But it moves. It doesn't go after... Uh, uh, it's an herbivore. It just goes after plants and whatever, and it goes on top of the plants and just smothers them. What about hugger grass? Does it eat hugger grass? You don't find it with hugger grass. Mm. Oh, so maybe, maybe. But if it did, the hugger grass wouldn't stop it. Oh yeah, it's because... basically rock. Okay, yeah. yeah. Bug can hug onto it. So. No, but it's not. That's about all that we have that in our area that you look out, and of course those worms. But 
Let's focus on these. So yeah. tomorrow morning, let's get up early yeah. and take care of it. You look kind of tired. Mm -hmm. um, so then you guys go to bed. Yes. <clears throat> Everyone's snoring okay, or whatever. And chair. you hear Cyrano Jones in the bunk. It's real crowded in the station, so everyone's kind of like real close. And he's snoring and snoring. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so, so eventually Cyrano Jones actually goes to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> He's trying to not offend you. He's trying to be very nice. <laughs> so he's, oh, I'm very sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm just been snoring. I always snore my whole life, you know? <laughs> All right, so he goes off. All right, guys, go out. Now you're going out to check the live traps. You're still going to stay at the station. You're busy at the station closing up experiments. You all go out. You three. Okay? Uh, you're armed. Um, and Cyrano Jones actually offers his transport because he has a bigger grab vehicle than the station, mm -hmm. which can carry all of you. The station grab vehicles can only carry two people at a time. This one can carry all of you. All right, so it, okay. who's see? pilot for? Cyrano Jones is very nice. Wait, I don't have yes. any vehicle yeah. operation. All right, who's gonna drive it? Uh, Cyrano's gonna drive it. Oh, that's the way. Cyrano, sorry about that. Uh, Good, because time. I didn't have any. Oh, that's, uh, that's all right. No problem. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> we just all gotta get along. <laughs> yep, yep. Gotta get along, get along. I, do, I love them triples, though, don't you? <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Yep, see? But see? Peace keep... and happiness. Tribbles. But tribbles, it's best tribbles. not to keep them and yes. give them food. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so uh, you you uh, pull up to your first stop, and um, are you taking scans or something? Yes. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Like, are you taking scans? Yeah, I'm gonna take scans. It's good. Oh, okay. So leave it open, and could you? So what are you scanning for? Life. Yeah. Okay, computer operation plus small equipment. Computer operation. Computers here. Right. Small equipment is here. Equipment. Operation. Okay. Add them to. Roll. Computer technology or operation? Operation. I'm going to keep an eye out for blue. Add them. For red uh, dervishes. I'm going to keep an eye out for those. Yeah. Anything else? You can keep your eye out for strange things. Or red dervishes. Okay. You happen to hear, before you, while you start scanning, you happen to hear screaming. What is that? But it's not like human, like a human voice. Oh, it, it might be those, uh, the Hummer. Hummer. Yeah, the Hummer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Tribble, screaming. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe there are Romulans or Klingons, I mean, nearby. Scan. Deep. Roll. <laughs> I took the batteries out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I needed them. <laughs> Did you make it? Uh, minus 10. 50. Okay. So you got Did it? Did you make it? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to try. not here. Betraya. I, I want you. Important. You're not there. Sorry. Okay. One, two, three. Can, can I please scan? Cyrano Jones. Scan? That's it? And the rest yeah. of us? I need you all to roll against intelligence. Each of you. Put that count. down. No. no. Yes. 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 How? Why? All of a sudden, you hear disruptor blasts. Oh. One of them hits the side of the ship. Cyrano says, "Oh no, it's Klingons!" Oh, and you disruptor. see, as as you move out to the side, there's a Klingon shuttle, and there's oh. Klingons coming out of it, shooting at your ship. Oh, yeah, that's what take out your face and Huh? Could I take out my face? It looks no. at, you see at least four Klingons. Oh shoot! Five. Okay, now. That's what. Oh. Okay, now listen. I want you three to roll against dexterity now. Dexterity. I'm yes! Yes! I got it! I got it! I didn't. 65. Could I jump do, jump and push her down? Did you make it? Yeah. You saved your crew. Thank you, Captain. Very good. And I they shot. hit part of the grab vehicle, but they hit the uh, seat, so part of the cushion is on fire. Uh, blow it off. Okay. Next week. 
we find out no. what happens in this battle. <laughs> no. Why do you no. Hey man, I gotta make it exciting. So get your journals. Star date up there. Good job, guys. 